Hello and Hello welcome, and to, welcome this to this lecture. In this lecture, this you are going to learn, learn what about image segmentation the scope is, of the course, which different and kinds also of how image the course is structured are available, and also what, so what we are going to learn. develop in this course. In so the let's get first started. section, you will learn about the at first, course in let's general. Take a look at some you similar tasks. Overview, and you because will learn how to you set up your computer, in your system, image processing with deep how learning, install all the you packages, know about the classic how to get the material of all of this covered in this first that section. That is basically the most simple approach. If the you next have a certain image to cover and you have a track record to PyTorch, this image classification if you know model this, then you can would be able to skip tell that. you, okay, but in this image, you can see a banana. Then I so there is a class label here provided for the learn about image. tensors, how to deal with the them. The next level of and complexity you learn is how to detection. create your own model. This kind of techniques and are all the other ingredients and that are can help you relevant, not just and very helpful get a label like for data the sets, image, data loaders, but also, and also for how the you can region. tune the hyperparameters. The banana in all this of image. this is covered in so this where into image Python classification watch. can tell you what is shown on an the image. The next section is object going detection to can cover convolutional and neural where networks. Something because is that's on an image. the and then it's putting some bounding box around the models it. that we are going so to use. So this is what you can see here. So it's with important the red that you have at least some high level understanding on how all so of this works. So now we want to go one so step further. So you will learn about CNNs because the next in general of complexity is and there are also some not just create topics bounding boxes, on how to process the images, but to actually predict how to transform individual them pixels to be able to work with them. So, so this is all of this is covered in this lecture is about and then get predictions to the of classes for real each stuff. pixel this is our rather than for a complete image segmentation or just for a certain region here i will present you of an image different architectures and this kind of technique that are available. besides that it's super and then cool there is really for your having information some and business for some impact. deeper learning so we can use it and for, for some deeper understanding fields some for example for on medical imaging specific for aspects satellite like image processing upsampling. Or for which autonomous driving functions could be used and in you this can field. see some example evaluation some metrics ground proof are image at the left hand side. All of this and then is covered in this example lecture. of semantic and segmentation then we get to where the you can see different so objects. We are going to in the implement image. our so we can see model that and we have to train it on a custom data for the street for the and this is involving a lot of for preparation the of the data in the first place. And you get these different classes predicted for each the pixel of this image and validating the results. Before we go into so this is different the kinds high level of image of segmentation, the complete course, I want to show you, as I said, just on a high level what the mathematical representation of like this technique is. You have to know how to set up too your system. So imagine don't you have some input image first section, which is shown here at the left hand side. You have some knowledge and about the segmented version already. of this, would and be maybe just also about having convolutional neural networks for the different so in that kinds case, of you classes. Might just skip for the same number of any of these pixels for the height and width. sections, and then each and class is corresponding to, to a certain semantic number. segmentation section. So each pixel gets in general, a number assigned to it. Course is so that's basically that I, it. We have some ground high level explanation dimensions like this one, times which I call one one lecture for a color image. Or then if we have we our coding material, then we and just then have at one color places, channel. There are also exercises, and we have a corresponding should segmentation work on mask, yourself, which is having the and same. And in the end, there are also number solutions of solutions provided in vertical pixels, which you can check to one channel with your own corresponding results. to the mask values. So that's everything. You could also about imagine it like this: scope of the course. So instead of having and just one the mask, is structured. you could also have Thank you very several much for masks. Watching, and so the dimension the next now height times width times five because we have five different classes here and then each class matrix is basically binary so we have zeros where this type of class is not visible and we have the corresponding number for the pixels on which we can see these different classes all right so by now we know the high level of this but there are actually more techniques in the field of image segmentation we have semantic segmentation, instance segmentation, and panoptic segmentation. And here I just want to tell you what the differences are. So again, imagine that you have some ground proof image that you can see here. If you're working with semantic segmentation, then you can see the corresponding result here. We have the different objects, like the different cars in a certain color, and the street and the persons, but actually you cannot differentiate any of these cars. So basically all the cars are overlapping and they are considered to be just of the class car. Similar for the persons. So there are many different instances of persons which you cannot differentiate. 
you just get the prediction on this class which is person and to overcome this because in certain cases it's important to not just be able to predict stuff but also to predict individual things and for this we have instance segmentation and here you can see the same image and now with instant segmentation you can see there are actually different colors for the different cars so it's not just predicting each of these cars and then we have overlapping pixels of all these different objects actually now we have many different colors corresponding to the conclusion that the algorithm is able to predict the individual instances of these classes and similar for the persons. And then we have the last type of technique in this field which is panoptic segmentation which is bringing in the best of both worlds. Here each pixel gets a label and with this individual objects are predicted and also separated as well as that you can see general stuff in this image. So these are the three different kinds of techniques in the field of image segmentation. And now I'm going to show you what we are going to develop in this course. We are going to work with a data set on satellite images. And these satellite images are consisting of six different classes. So on these images you can see buildings, land, roads, vegetations, water and then there's a residual class called unlabeled. So for example we have some input image like this and we have some true mask which is provided. So here you can see then with the different colors the different types of objects and we are using these two different inputs the input images and the true mask to train a neural network. So we are training our own semantic segmentation network so that in the end we are able to take a new image and we apply our trained algorithm, our trained model and we get as a result our predicted mask. And to me this is one of the most impressive techniques in the field of deep learning and it's really fun to implement this and to find out how all this works. Thank you and see you in the next lecture.